Okay, folks, Jim here, look at that. All right, well, I told you I was gonna do it, and I did it. Um, when I did my first cut, of course, I cut safely and all like that. Well, now I know because down there, my part, you know, where it is, I scribed a line all the way down. Uh, here I'm gonna put some uh, the glue in the sealer all the way down here and all. I will be welding that hole, another hole, and then down underneath, of course. And see, I told you I was going to uh, prepare, drill out. That's a screw hole. That's where the um, I need that uh, paint taken off of there. Uh, the the welder will burn through it. And it just makes it harder, and it makes it uh, get icky gases and stuff like that. Icky. That's a <laughs> that's a technical word. Here's another one. Blah blah blah. Another one. Another one. And they correspond to on the well, not those guys there because. That's uh, up there. <laughs> anyway, this side here did need uh, more work than the other one. Put a patch in right here. Let's see, yeah, right there. And there's another one somewhere. Uh, oh, right there and right there. So, anyway, um, I prepared the passenger side, which you just looked at. I prepared the... Um, oh, Lord, I got my back on the bottom of that door. Prepared this side here also, did this stuff. Ground in there because there's going to be some glue. I will do a little bit of a weld here and over here. And uh, here's my wonderful patch right here. Or not patch, but brace. Okay, so I did the other side. The The brace here was uh, just gone. So I made another one. And it's not exactly like the other one, but I put some extra bends in it there. Every bend makes it tougher. So anyway, I just made it a little tougher. Um, of course, then we already had uh, the patches, and uh, there's only uh, one on that side. Everything else is good enough to to use. Um, again, I did the um, little hole. Well, that's a, a screw hole. So, but after I uh, get everything welded, the screws hold it in place, and then uh, I will just fill them in too. So, um, hole, 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 da -la -la -la. and then across here is gonna go uh, glue this way and then down I have that all I took a, a saw actually an air-powered sawzall and busted the blade at an angle and then it scrapes up the paint real nice puts real wicked cuts in there I don't know, can you see that real wicked cuts real wicked cuts okay so uh, to prepare everything to go on the welding see this here is the inside oh the part that nobody ever sees oh there you go and this here is the outside and this is actually upside down so if i went this way this is the top pinch weld you know up towards the seats and oh where am i at there you go <laughs> the seats and the uh seat belt area right in here and there's that front area that front area right there goes in and under and it tucks in there goes on to that so anyway and here, of course, is that back part where I modified it. Ooh, look at that. You got a little sliver there. It's going to get me. All right. I should have, uh, I'll do it later. Should have knocked that paint off of there, too. Anyway, and then see where the screws go through. See, make them a little bit, uh, grind a little bit like that so you can just weld right in there. When you take the screw out, of course, and then it welds into the metal of the vehicle, you know, and also uh, plugs the hole. So here's all the other holes. I drilled out quarter inch ones. Some people say 5 16ths. I use the 5 16ths um, uh, spot weld cutter because it goes around your quarter inch ones like that. So on some stuff, when you cut them out, you just have to do a 5 16 So I brightened them all up, drilled them all out. At first, I just drilled them a bit so that I could locate them. And then for the, the car, uh, well, not the car, but the uh, truck was holding them, you know, and they were screwed into place. I saw that in the other video. video. Um, so. Um, I went through most of the way, most of the way, most of the way. Then I took it off, and then it was just way easier. Otherwise, if you don't do that, you have to spend a lot of dinking around and wrestle and hold on to it. I'm too old to be wrestling. <laughs> so, there you go. So, I did that. I did all these sides, drilled the holes, and then, of course, uh, got the paint off so that it won't cause a fuss when I weld all the way. And then, uh, same on the bottom. Oh, same thing on the bottom. Okay. On the other ones, remember the other side had these holes right here were kind of cockeyed and all like that. I straightened them around the bottom on the passenger side. I straightened them without showing you how, but 
you guys will probably see it another day anyway so um, here's the inside and I, I believe it's important to do the inside even though you're not welding right there right okay but the paint behind it is gonna burn and then it's gonna put off a gas and it's gonna make your weld bad or porous you know then you can get rust in there and that's probably not so bad in there because that's the pinch weld who cares but when you're doing it on this one here any rust you know or holes or anything coming this way it's going to just make it rust faster and it's already costing a lot so anyway i ground out the inside of this as you can see to match of course the outside of where am i at the outside of the other there um because i'm going to put that panel bonding adhesive glue here and the rest of it weld 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 weld, weld and uh down here too and see that does two things it does a weld and a seam sealer at the same time okay uh, same thing in the front just because you can't get in there so this stuff here is good I'll put a uh, uh, screw hole probably in there maybe as we go but anyway I welded the in uh, I ground the inside 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 and I did it with you know that too so there you go and then also when you drill through you make a burr on the one side right or if you screw through like these screw holes wherever the heck they are okay screw hole there you go screw hole the screw goes through and it leaves a little couple of pieces of metal sticking up so when you go to put it together it uh you know it doesn't fit exactly tight so then of course stuff can get in there and start the rusting process again so that's what i have so far um did the other side too so now what i'm going to do is get uh oh, get some stuff ready uh, the panel bonding adhesive, which is right down here. Nope, that's plastic. Sorry about that. I am absolutely wrong. But anyway, here you go. 8115, blah, blah. And my super cool space gun to uh, applicate it. Oh, well, oh, it's getting me. I can't get it. Okay, anyway, so there you go. Space gun. So, folks. Um, I'm gonna get some stuff set up so I can start doing this and get things ready and now it's just uh, since we did all the preparation and this, this glue is just like welding you get it ready just like you're gonna do welding but then you screw it together and you can walk away but um, some people will do um, will uh, glue you know they'll grind all this up just like I did there and then they'll put some screws or some clamps and just glue it on and they'll do the bottom too which is good unless you spill some bunch of glue in here gets in there then the water can't run out you know but it does seam seal all of it which is good um i will hit some stuff in there some it's called schultz poke a little rod in there and give the old and it puts a bunch of yuck in there and that'll save it for a while i'll have to fill up the uh the drain holes first what i do is you take a piece of cardboard crunch it around a little bit stick it in there shoot the stuff in there let it dry pull your cardboard out anyway so uh there you go that's what we're gonna do thanks a lot 06 chevrolet the new style blocky fenders there there you go thanks a lot for stopping it was fun huh